Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you all have seen what pretty much the entire world has seen at this point. Not only has Star Wars The Force Awakens gotten pre-sell tickets, so you can go and get your tickets now, which by the way, I would do very fast. Websites be crashing. But we have our final trailer for Star Wars The Force Awakens, and I've got to say guys, <sighs> This trailer was amazing. I became a child again. I felt like I was back in my in my pajamas watching The Empire Strikes Back and just feeling the score of Star Wars awesomeness and yes and oh I just I'm doing that. So let's talk about the trailer. The trailer opens up immediately on Rey, who's being played by Daisy Ridley. Now what we know about this character is that she's a scavenger, she lives on a planet Jakku, and in the first couple shots of this trailer, we're seeing her scavenge that Imperial starship that just crash landed in the second trailer that looked amazing. While well, there's a voiceover asking who she is, and she basically says that she's a nobody. And I gotta say guys, Looking at Daisy Ridley and looking at Natalie Portman and then looking at Carrie Fisher, they all have a very similar thing about them. They're white. No, but they look a lot alike. Then immediately cuts over to Finn. Now Finn looks like a badass. I've seen the, John Boyega's character is he just looks like an amazing character. Especially after seeing movies like Attack the Block, I'm so excited for this guy's character. He's saying he was only really raised to do one thing and he really doesn't have a clue where to go at this point. You see shots of a TIE fighter exploding in space, crash landing on a planet that looks like Jakku. Then it cuts to Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is menacing as crap, being played by Adam Driver. You see him talking about fulfilling a destiny or finishing what Darth Vader started. You see Darth Vader's burnt helmet. Now there's a lot of speculation on Kylo Ren's character if you want to look up on your own. I don't want to talk about any of it because it could be spoilers, but all three of these characters in the beginning shots of this trailer really tell you who it's gonna be focusing on. It's these three, these are the main people, and this is what the story is gonna be talking about. You see a quick shot of Kylo Ren doing something to Poe Dameron, who's being played by Oscar Isaac. It almost looks like some type of force maneuver. And then you get dialogue from Han Solo. Han Solo's kind of been the only one to be given a lot of dialogue through these trailers, but it's necessary dialogue. You hear Rey asking if the rumors are true or if the stories are true, and you're not sure what it is until Han starts saying, yes, it's true. The dark side, the Jedi. And that really lends to how how far away it was that this these events took place from Return of the Jedi. It's 30 years past, and it's gotten to the point where some of these things t have turned into more fables than anything. The Force is a mystical, non midichlorian type thing that just mystifies these people. After that, you see quick cuts of these battles, and by the way, they look beautiful. You're seeing three planets in this in, in this trailer. Three planets that looks like they're going to be implementing a lot of new things in this movie that I'm so excited for. You see a shot of the Millennium Falcon going into hyperdrive in a way that you never have seen before. You always see hyperdrive coming through the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. But this shot right here of the Millennium Falcon just sweeping through is so mind-blowing. The battle on Jakku, where you see the Millennium Falcon just being like... I'm eight years old. You see in more quick cuts, you see Gwendolyn Christie's Captain Phasma character looking like a badass, looking like the new Boba Fett. Towards the end, you see a shot of Leia. Now, Leia is embracing with Han Solo, which is a really telling thing in a way, because a lot of people have speculated whether they've split apart, whether they're together. At least you know at one point in this that there's something still between them, and I'm really excited for that, because I one of the best parts of Empire Strikes Back was the witty banter between Han Solo and Leia, and they gotta keep that going for The Force Awakens. And then you see it, you see the shot of Kylo Ren unmasked. You don't see his face. You see him striding towards Finn, lightsabers at the ready, about to murder each other, and then you hear this dialogue. Force is in you, you just have to let it in. It's, it's awesome. It's so exciting to have this trailer. Guys, please, go to your local theater right now. Get these advanced tickets, you're gonna need them. They're breaking early ticket sale records already. It's the beautiful thing about this trailer is that it still doesn't spoil anything. This is the final trailer. It really just tells you a little tiny bit about the character, but other than that, Nothing! You have no idea what's happening in this movie. How awesome is that? You unfortunately don't get to see Luke Skywalker. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. That would have just 
I would have peed my pants immediately if I saw him. This is something where I'm gonna remember it for the rest of my life, going to see this film. I'm gonna be decked out in my Jedi robes, I'll be having my lightsaber ready to go, and you guys had better do that too. I know it's a couple months down the road, but I'm so excited! So that's my review, guys. Tell me what you thought about the trailer. What were some of your favorite parts? Or tell me some things that you noticed that I didn't notice. Leave your comments down below. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. I do uploads every week. Thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you, and I will see you at the next review.